Well, let me ask you both the same question, starting with you, Baratunde, and that is that we now know 70 million of our fellow citizens uh, voted for Donald Trump. It's been pointed out on this and other networks every day. How does that, in a practical matter, affect the way you approach the world, starting tomorrow, affect the way you walk through your country, knowing how divergent these two sides are? It's a project that I've taken on in the show and the podcast, Brian, How to Citizen. It's one that I'm trying to live into more fully with an open heart and an open mind while still firmly gripped to my values. I think that uh, we have a hard road ahead. I, I am not of the opinion that we just go out of our way to deny who we are as progressives, for example, and pretend that we don't believe what we believe. At the same time, I know that all of us left and right, old and young, have an opportunity to focus on what we have in common, to focus on what we all want for our society, to listen more than we pronounce, to ask more than we declare. And I want an opportunity for us to recommit to this project of citizenship as an act, not as a legal status. We can get past that and we can try to be the nation we said we wanted to be when we wrote it down on that pretty paper a really long time ago. It's never going to be perfect, but we can make it more so. Jenna, we got to hand it to the guy. His podcast is called How to Citizen. Same question, though, to you. <laughs> Well, I appreciate being able to talk about citizenship while I'm cutting the longest math class that I've ever been in uh, with the two of you this evening. And, you know, one of the things that we have to remember about this country is that we have had such influence globally in the 21st century, not because of our political leaders, but because of our soldiers and, and the people who ran to manufacturing plants to support their efforts. Uh, and, and the trenches aren't what we traditionally think in Europe. They're not in our cul-de-sacs. They're in the elevators of our apartment buildings. They're in the aisles of Costco. And there's not going to be a turnkey solution for how we're going to be able to move forward. Nobody should be looking for that. But to Dr. Ving Gupta's point, your earlier guest, put on that three-ply mask, walk across the street, knock on that neighbor's door and say, hey, I'm here if you need anything. Start there. And this idea, we know how to take care of each other, regardless of the political sign that's on our front lawn. And we have to lean really hard into that if we want to become all that we are desiring to be. Baratunde, final question to you. Do you envy the work ahead of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? I mean, it's one thing for the three of us to have this conversation. Yes, it gets Jenna out of her online math class. It's another thing to be handed the keys to this country right now and said, go, go lead, you have 74 million votes. I do not envy them, but I do believe in their ability to work with us to bring us to a better place. Joe Biden has been through everything we're going through. He's lost family to health crisis, He's lost family to accidents. He's been through tough economic situations. And I don't work for Joe Biden. Technically, he, he's about to work for me. And I just respect the journey he's been on and the humanity and the empathy he has brought to this. He has done, again, citing Dr. Gupta, Jen and I on the same wavelength here. He's taking this moment seriously. We're in a disaster moment and we need leadership to rise to that. And I am 100% confident he gets it and he understands there is no economy without COVID being handled. And he also understands something he said about the votes, that the votes are, that these are not just numbers we're looking at. They're the votes, they're our fellow Americans. And that's the same with COVID, that's the same with the economy. Those are not numbers, those are human beings that we live with, that we love with, that we depend on and who depend on us. And I cannot imagine someone more emotionally, maturely suited to this moment than Joe Biden, along with soon to be VP, Kamala Harris. Wow, terrific answers to the both of you tonight. And by the way, strong callbacks on the previous guest cable news shows. Love that kind of thing. Jenna Arnold, I must return you to your math class with our apologies and thanks. Baratunde Thurston, thank you as always for bringing it. Another break for us. Final thought.